Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you will see the first option up here where it's going to say your name or maybe your device's name. Under there, just make that backup using iCloud. If you have no more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Hook it up to your computer and use iTunes on PC or Finder on Mac in order to make that backup. Also, if you're having any problems with the update, you can also just hook it up to your computer and use your computer to update it. Anyways, up here where you should see software update available, just tap on it and we're going to see it right away. However, let's say you don't see it there. Don't worry about it. Just go right into general. Under general, software update will be your second option. And then from here right away, we're going to see this. You should see download and install. And yes, it's only 81 megabytes, which is a little bit smaller than the iPhone or iPod touch update. Now, before we hit on update, just make sure you have at least 50% of your battery. Even if you do have like, let's say 90% of your battery, I recommend hooking up some electricity. So that way it's charging and it's not going to die when this is installing. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and press on download and install. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, it's going to begin the download process. Now, since this updates really small, it should only take a few seconds to download and then maximum in total downloading plus installation should not take more than five minutes in total. I just want to point out that not all iPads are compatible with iPad OS 14. For example, some of you may have an iPad 2, which is stuck back in iOS 9. That's okay. All iPads have a maximum software update, and that's because they just wouldn't be able to handle the latest software updates. And if you're watching this video, maybe because your iPad requires a higher iOS, then don't worry about it. There are ways to get around that just in case. There is a video right here in my YouTube channel that teaches you how to download older versions of apps so that way they don't require that higher iOS. Now, obviously, that only works with older apps. With newer apps that were just created, let's say this year, they wouldn't be compatible with older iOS such as iOS 9 or for that matter, even iOS 10. Now, before I tap on install, let me just highlight that some of you may only see install now. And that only depends on your settings. Maybe the download already happened and all you had to do was install, which is perfectly fine. So we're going to tap on install now. It's going to verify the update. Then it's going to turn off. We're going to see an Apple logo and a loading bar. All right. So at first we would see an Apple logo and loading bar. It's going to go pretty slow. And then we're going to see another one that's going to go a lot faster. And then we will be done. All right. So at this point, we are all done. We can just go into the iPad and that's it. We are all done with the update. We can always check if everything went okay, go into software update, and we should see that right now it says up to date. So that's it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.